Today, I'll show you the easiest way to set up returns, refunds, and exchanges on your website. Also, some necessary steps to reduce these requests and minimize your losses, while also keeping your customers happy. We'll do all this and much more, but we'll go step by step so it's easy to follow. If you're new here, my name is Rohan. We publish five videos a week for online businesses. So welcome to the channel and let's begin. The first step is to get one plugin that has all three features. So let's go to the Code Canyon website and search for product RMA plugin. Now, this is the one we want. And if you're curious, RMA here stands for Return Merchandise Authorization. So let's add this to the cart. Now, this video is not sponsored. So why am I recommending a paid plugin? All of us love our free plugins, right? But the thing I realized actually, after using a whole bunch of alternatives here, is that this is the only plugin that has all the features we need to do all three of these things easily. Plus, the user interface and the customer support is also good. And it actually costs only about $6 a month, which is quite affordable. I use this too, that's why I'm recommending it to you. So let's finish the payment and download the plugin. And you'll get a zip file like this. Now, we need one more free plugin. So let's open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now, airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down because people don't realize it, but even small sites with four or five plugins and a few products are generally too slow to load. So we built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new, drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it. And your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs. And you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it. So it's a good long-term tool to have. Let's come back to our plugins page and go to the RMA plugin and click here. You'll get various options to choose from. So I'll ensure that replacement, refund and cancel are turned on. Then I'll quickly add a return address here and then click on save settings. Next, let's click on default warranty here and make sure the length option is selected as limited and I'll set the length value as, let's say, seven days. Now, this option helps you set up the number of days within which the customer can return the product. And trust me, by keeping it at seven days, it's gonna save you a lot of money later. Now, let's save changes here. Now, the front end section lets you configure what the refund warranty settings would look like on your page. I think the default options look good enough, so I'll leave that as it is. Now, let's go to this returns reason section. And here you can add the reasons that your customers can choose while starting a return and remove ambiguous reasons that people can take advantage of or make the reasons very specific like this so that only genuine issues can get a refund. Okay, I'll go back to my site, then go to checkout and click customize here. Then click on WooCommerce and then checkout. Next, I'll click here and edit this text box like this. This helps in reducing bad requests and saves us a lot of money in the long run. Now let's click here and close the configure panel. And let's see if everything is working properly. And you can see that a return policy message is displayed here. Now let's go to sign into my account, click on orders, and here you can see the order. Now let's take a look at all the features one by one here. Let's click on this request warranty option here. And now I can select the product to refund, type the reason for the refund, and forward the request by clicking here. Similarly, the customer can also request a cancellation or a replacement by choosing the options here. Now, the options for return and refund will also be there in the guest checkout because that's automatically applied here. So you don't need to worry. Anybody with even a guest account can easily return or refund their items. All right. Now, to check the notification of this request, let's come back to our WordPress dashboard and click on the Webcool WooCommerce add-ons. Then click on WooCommerce RMA Manager. Now here you can see the customer has requested a refund. Now, if you click on the order, you can see the customer's refund request and the reason for the refund. You can change the refund status here and check if the customer has uploaded any images here. Also, you can enable this option if you want the notifications to be shared on email and you can send a text to the customer like this. If you're ready to refund the product, you can go back and accept the request here. If you don't think a refund is necessary, you can also cancel the refund by clicking this X button. So for now, I'm going to accept it and then update the customer about the refund. Then I'll go back to the order and in the chat box here, type a message for the customer. Okay, then click here to send the update. 
Now, after this, we need to pick up the returned item from a customer's location. So for that, we're gonna to go to our shipping account. Now, you can use any shipping service that you have set up and the steps are quite similar. I'm just gonna use ShipRocket here. Also, if you haven't set up shipping on your website, you can check the video linked above to see how to do that. Okay, now I'll click on returns and select the add return button. Now on this page, select single return. Now you can also click on the bulk return options here to create multiple returns at the same time. I just want to create a return for a single order. So I'll click here, enter the buyer details here like this, and the address like this, then click next, and enter your warehouse details here. Click next, then verify the order details and select the return reason. Now from the drop down, choose the refund method and enter the product name and price. Then click on next, enter the weight and dimensions. And if you've already added a product before, these fields will be filled in automatically like this. Then click on add return. This will take you to this returns page. So just click on this initiate return button and you can choose the courier services available. So let's pick the one you want and then click here to start the return. And the product will be delivered to you from the customer side. Next, we're going to see how to refund money to your customers in the occasion that the order is returned or cancelled. So for that, let's go to the WordPress dashboard, click on orders. Now you can see the test order here, so click on it and you can see the refund button. Just click on it and we can see the quantity option here. I'll mark the quantity as 1 and change the shipping rate to minus 50. This means that the customer will only get this amount. Then I'll add the return reason here and click on refund manually and see the deductions that have been made. Now I'll select note to customer here and click add. The customer will receive an email showing the message we've sent here. So on top we can see this order ID and we can copy this. Then we can use this in our website's payment gateway, whichever one we've used and then track the order and then refund the amount to him. Next, let's say the delivery address that the customer has put is either invalid or wrong. So you want to change that. To do that, let's come back to our ShipRocket account and click on orders. So here's my order. Just click on the three dot option here and select edit order. Scroll down and you can see the customer details and address. Just change the address here like this and click update. Now you can ship the order and it should be delivered to the right address. Finally, let's say your product gets lost or damaged during the shipping. So how can you make sure that you minimize your losses in this case? For that, let's come back to our shipping provider, then go to the help and support window and then click on create ticket. Then from the drop down, select claims and from the subcategory, choose amount not received. Then paste the AWME number here and create the ticket. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.